Next we have Isadora Capraro. Hello. Hello, Isadora. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. <laughs> so what are you working on today? Um, I'm working on this uh, painting, which I call it End of the Winter. And it's related with the present right now. Mm. And well, now I am working on this yoga series, which I am doing this uh, yoga poses on my paintings. And especially this one, uh, it's also about breathing and how even though she's in a hard position, if you just be concentrated and breathe, mm. everything, every problem looks like it is not there because the only thing that you have to think right now is to breathe. And so I love doing this yoga painting because, because it reminds me all this stuff and well, so I'm working on this now. Um, I am Argentinian, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us a little bit about yourself, yes, you're yeah, Argentinian. I am Argentinian, I studied in fine arts in Buenos Aires and I moved here a year ago and I just moved to the Hamptons and I think it changes, it changes a lot, my way of painting. There is something here, like some, that's why so many artists grow up a lot in here. Mm -hmm. I actually started working for those artists, the ones that I admire. I used to be their assistants and they were so generous with me. I learned a lot about them. And now I am very happy to be here. And, and married to one of them. Yeah, I married <laughs> one of the Hamptons artists. <laughs> Um, Incidentally, Franco's brother, yeah. Lataro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we are like an Argentinian artist community in the Hamptons. Yes. And yeah, <laughs> we have our studio in Flanders, which is a nice property. It's really beautiful energy, like here. I love being here because everyone has good energy. People that work here in the Southampton <laughs> Art Center, all the artists. I work here too and the people that come visit they always have something nice to tell you about <laughs> something that you didn't realize about your own work and that it is a lot what is something that you didn't realize about your own work that somebody pointed out to you yeah for example the other day a lady told me that my painting looked like like indian mm. artwork and i never thought about it and i love it but i haven't seen indian artwork in a while and then i uh, came in Google and Google them. And I think the person was really right. Mm -hmm. And now I feel like I can get so inspired about that. Mm -hmm. And sometimes like my painting is also kind of abstract at some point. Mm -hmm. People like realize they see things mm -hmm. that I didn't think about, but they kind of complete the message that I want to give. So that's really beautiful too. So it must be um, enlightening to actually hear people's reaction to your work yeah. while you're working on it. Yeah, and my favorite is when kids try to imitate the poses. Oh, That's has really that been exciting. happening a lot? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. really fun. That is really cool being here. So here's some more of Isadora's work. And you work in acrylic, correct? Yeah, mostly acrylic. It's mixed medium, but uh, it's mostly acrylic. I work really big. That's why I'm this yes. face. <laughs> yes, she's, her pieces are very large. Yeah, but I'm also working on small, on small ones. I am here. Uh, I don't have to be really fun. Here there are some. <laughs> These are... Uh, These are small ones that I've been working on since I came here because other people is like, oh, I love your painting, but it's too, <laughs> too big for my house. Right. So I am working on these ones and it's really fun. And what's the medium of these? It's also acrylic and pastel some, sometimes. Mm. <laughs> okay, well, thank you, Isadora. Thank you. She has a very colorful <laughs> workstation here. <laughs> so I'll take a look at the rest of her pieces. Before we move on to our final takeover artist, Ashley Escobar. So this is Isadora Capraro.